this is the Octomasher. The Octomasher is an interactive audio installation that lets eight people come together and make music. Each one of these stations is an individual instrument that I've designed. They all control music in sort of unconventional ways. It lets you play songs or loops instead of notes. And these knobs and faders on top of each controller control wacky things like the complexity of a loop or some kind of effect on the song. Each one of these little stations is its own little sonic world that you can mess with and play with. And they're all tied in together to one brain underneath the table. It keeps everything synchronized and sounding pretty good. Participants run around the table, they poke at different instruments, they learn how they all work and they teach it to other people and um, it's a really neat way for people to come together, interact, and make music. This is the drum instrument. It's one of the instruments in the Octomasher that's a great example of how they control sounds in unconventional ways. The white keys over here all select different drum loops. The computer brain that's coordinating all the instruments makes sure that the drums come in on the beat. When you select the new loop, same thing. It comes in on the beat. Neato, right? If you don't want to play in that way, you can use the black keys on top to play sounds instantly, like... And the controls up here let you manipulate the loop in different ways, like changing its pattern, playing it backwards, messing with it like it's on a turntable. This is the mashup keyboard. Pretty simple, but really fun. The red keys over here represent one palette of songs. Everything is kept in sync by the master brain, which keeps everything on the beat. So you can pick a song, and it's always gonna start on a downbeat. You can come over here and pick a blue song, you can crossfade between the two. This is the bass lines instrument. Each group of colored keys represents the slices of one bass line. For example, these three green keys represent one bass line. You can play the keys in order and get something like the original bass line. You can play the keys in a different order and change the order of the slices. Or you could play with the effects up here and change the sound of the bass line. You can even combine different bass lines and effects to get something totally new. In total, there are eight different instruments, each with unique sounds and functions that people can play at the same time together. I wanted to come up with a way, you know, to make it really easy for people to get a taste of what it's like to, uh, to perform music the way that I do. It's really so easy with technology. It just makes sense to, uh, to build systems where multiple people uh, can interact at the same time. It brings back the, the group experience and the, the communication, the, the social aspects of music um, that get lost in a lot of electronic music.